What's up, everybody? Just messing around with this stuff called Vitachem. It's by Boyd Enterprise. They make the Chemi Pure. Ended up winning this from Danny's Reef Tank, uh, his contest. And um, so far, I really like this stuff. I got the uh, little bottle, and as soon as I opened it up, I uh, after the use, I put it in the fridge um, to just keep it good longer, you know, uh, so it doesn't go bad. But um, I usually feed at night, and the reason why I feed at night is usually the uh, tentacles of the corals come out at night once the uh, lights dim down. You can see my little harlequin shrimp in the background just going to town, eating up a chocolate chip starfish. Um, it kind of sucks throwing the starfish in the tank, but, you know, the little harlequin has done some damage to all the astorinas. And uh, so a chocolate chip for the harlequin is well worth it, in my opinion, uh, just because I it takes care of all my other corals, like my zoas and my pallies, my SPS. And uh, so he's going to be doing his thing, and I'm just going to keep feeding him. Uh, chocolate chip starfish every now and then I know some of you will be upset but um, like I said it's my coral <laughs> it's not really your coral so your corals aren't getting munched up by those starfish mine are so with that said let's go ahead and keep on doing an update I'm not using gel filters I'm just messing around with the intensity the contrast on the uh, the camera I'm actually just using my uh, iPhone in this one to make this video, I did uh, go ahead and cut the flow. Um, I like the j because you just hit the feed mode. You know, it shuts the pumps off and, you know, all the flow is stopped. Um, I do have my, the only flow I do have is the return pump. And you want to do that when you target feed um, because the your corals have a better chance of getting some of that food. My Rastas are doing good. I know everybody has Rastas now. But uh, I still like them. I know they were hyped up back in the day, but you know they're still pretty nice and really cool to look at under the blue LEDs. During the tank move, my chalices did get a hit, um, which sucks because the chalice corals do take a long time to grow. Um, they grow really slow, but the uh, colors of them are pretty nice. So I'm waiting for them to do a rebound, and hopefully some of this um, target feeding will help them. So far, my water change schedule is 10 gallons of, uh, you know, fresh water every uh, two weeks. I know that some of you guys are doing like 100 gallon water changes, but uh, I just don't do that because one, that probably costs a lot of money, and two, my wife will kill me. It'll cost a lot of money because of the salt, the amount of salt that I go through, the amount of RODI water that I have to make. Um, and the filter replacement will also be, the lives will be shortened on that. So I'm just going to be doing the 10 gallons every two weeks. You know, it's better than nothing. Not only that, but I'm also carbon dosing with uh, vinegar. The type of salt that I'm using is uh, Grief Crystals. It's the box. I get it from Amazon because it's uh, 200 and something gallons. And uh, it seems to work pretty good for me. I know uh, some of you guys use the high-end stuff. But uh, for now, I've just always been using reef crystals. I have tried some of the other salt, but uh, I'm doing the, the cheap stuff. So doing good with me, you know, uh, I guess to each their own. The product that I use every single day, and I don't use a whole lot of it, is the uh, Two Little Fishies Acro Power. I'm still using the same old small bottle. Um, I didn't buy the big bottle because one is too damn expensive. And two, I want I want to give it a try. And for the most part, it is working. Um, like I said, some of my corals did take a hit. This was my bonsai. And it was doing really good. But uh, obviously it looks a little bleached. I did lower it, and I hope it does bounce back. But everything else is doing okay. Uh, I'm surprised this rock of uh, pallies are still there because I super glued them. And some of the other things that I did super glue just fell off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, spend a little bit of money and buy some of that BSI glue. Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Uh, not going to be too long. Thanks for watching. You guys like and subscribe and take care.